Well, hello there. <laughs> I thought I had the starting screen on the entire time. So if, if you saw me, then you saw me. Anyways, um, I, I was just checking the YouTube settings. Open widget. Why would I? Oh. I have no. Okay. There. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, stop. Stop doing it then. All right. Today. <laughs> Hi. I'm streaming yet again because I'm awake. I'm. I am awake and I don't work today. So I thought like. Let's let's have a little check in with the new burps and see if we can we can extract a baby out of Ginger over here. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't die, which is a real possibility in my game. Um, it's it's really it happens from time to time. But according to my spreadsheet, she is due. Um, Sunday morning and it is now Saturday morning and a thing we gotta do is look at this spreadsheet no th this is not a spreadsheet this is a family tree and I accidentally closed the other window there <laughs> hopefully now I have everything set up so okay uh, ginger the, the broke baby is got turned into toddler yesterday. There's Mamie is so cute. Uh, Flat is cute too, but you know. <laughs> uh, Ginger doesn't have parents that we can extract names from. I only seem to have one name uh, in the spreadsheet and I do believe it comes from John. Uh, we have already used Anastasia, so if it's a girl, we could name her Susan. Uh, William and Benjamin are already used, so what I do then <laughs> is I have this name letters um, tab on my spreadsheet. And I have all the letters here, and then I have some clever <laughs> countings about how many sims are having that uh, a name that starts with that letter. And then I actually went ahead and checked their ages. So this indicative number <laughs> over here is of how many years left in total there probably is for each name so if there's a baby with a name then you get to add like a hundred because I think I think it I took it to a hundred yeah all right so yes um, because it might live until it's 100, so there's 100 years left for that sim <laughs> to have that name, starting with that letter. Uh, but if if it's older, then we subtract. So, like, it's just a number. Uh, we can just sort and we can see that, like, we should name uh, kids on the name letter O because to, to even it out. So. Uh, how do we find a letter or a name on a letter O? Well, we can go to behind the name and try and find um, some names. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you can enter a, a letter here so I just like do all of them and then I just generate and then 
see if I get any names on O and I didn't. So wait, can we not make more names? First name, three middle names. There you go. <coughs> so and also if I, I see like a name that I, I said well, like if this started with an O, <laughs> then, then we can take that. Uh, but so far I don't see any. No, I can't just. So this is for girl names. Odalis. Well, it's that's weird. But what about Odell? I don't know if that's a name either, but it seems more likely to me. So. Odell, but we, we're not going to use it unless uh, there's twin girls because we have the name Susan. But then for a boy, uh, we can just go back to this tab over here. Why do I have it oh, wait, over there? And do the same thing. Let's see if I find something. Actually, do I have an Odin? No, so I think like if it's a boy, then we could do Odin. And then for the second name, I always have two names in case there's twins. <laughs> we don't know. So for the second name, we want to know uh, name letters. The second letter, which would be an E. Um. None of these, I think. Are these really boy names? Like Ariola, is that a boy name? I don't know. But we're looking for a name on uh, Emil. Well, we already, we sort of have an Emil. He was called Emil, but he's not really. So I, I think I, I'm, go I'm gonna look for another name because it's gonna confuse my head. <laughs> um, if we start this with an E, like Eldrick. What sort of name is that? <laughs> I don't know. Would John and Ginger name their son Eldrick? They could, they could. Like, I don't know. Elderick. Maybe I write these names down in that tab. Because then I can use them later. Because we, we won't be able to use all these names, but I kind of like them now. <laughs> uh, go away. There you go. Okay. So we have the name set. Like, because uh, we can't do this once the baby is born. Because you only have, I have done so many times, like I go, oh, it's a boy. And I tab out and I start, start researching names. And once I'm done, it goes, well, you too slow. The, the baby is called baby boy now. And it makes me sad. And we need to go to, into SimPE, which is not running. We need to check. <laughs> um, and have it um, changed. Anyway, anyway, let's see the ages of people now. We have, we're gonna hide that column. I don't need it right now. There you go, not that either. Um, okay, so Seth is 13, so he wants to go to college. So he should like get his fun up and try and make his homework, but we're not locking that in right now. 
Like, what is up with these children then? They're asleep. <laughs> I don't know if they made their homework or not. But they... William wants to have an A plus report card. So, we could work on that. I don't, I don't think he's got homework. Look at the change, by the way. When it turns day in The Sims 2, we know it turns day. Like, unlike The Sims 4. I do not like it. <laughs> oh, there's an old wolf. Uh, we don't have school today, so... Like, we can, we can chill with the homework. Yeah, you're stinky. And the bathroom is obviously taken, so take a shower down here. So what about you, little girl? She wants to get potty trained. Uh, hopefully we can manage that. She has two days left until she becomes a child. And Ginger looks like she's not pregnant, but I assure you she is. Uh, change into maternity. Can we plan that outfit? We can! What? I can plan the maternity outfit? Well, we'll see what happens. I'm not sure that's gonna work. I have some mods. I don't know. <laughs> so her hair is all messed up when she's in the maternity wear. I do not like it. Uh, okay. Well, I can choose... What? Okay. Well... I think this is the best one. I don't... If I choose this, does, does she have no belly? It's heels. You don't want heels when you're pregnant. Hello. Um, can I then... Change your parents? Can I get my hair back? I don't... I'm not sure I can. Because there's some kind of weird glitch in the game that gives you the wrong hairstyle when you're pregnant sometimes. It's just sometimes. It's a bit weird. Maybe it's just when she has her maternity wear on and maybe I shouldn't like have it on then. Okay, well, it lets me choose the hairstyle for her everyday wear, so... Let's not do that. Plan outfit every day and change into every day. There. This takes a lot of time and she <laughs> doesn't have that time. <laughs> she is so pregnant. And she has already three children. Okay, well, Seth is adopted. And I kind of re regret adopting him because he was... Well, they got him when he was a child, so it's okay, I think. Um, I don't know if these work. It looks like they would work, like this one. What, what would you wear? I mean, it's horrible, but at least you have your hair. Maybe there's some other, other one here. Hmm. No. If it doesn't show the belly, then I, I assume it doesn't work. This is nice. I, I think we're gonna go with this, even though it's kind of horrible. Maybe this is better. Let, let's let's have this then. She can, you can change back into that nice dress you had when you're not pregnant anymore. Oh dear. Yeah, look, I, I like this better. Uh, so now she has the belly and her hair. That, that is good. What is John doing? He is sleeping and his lifetime wish is to become education minister. So he should be working on like his charisma maybe. <coughs> and he also wants to have a grandchild. Who's gonna give him a grandchild? I mean Lucy could but she don't want to. 
So Benjamin, he's still in school, but you know, at some point he could. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, what? Don't starve to death. Uh, is the butler fixing up food? Yes, go and eat it. Eat, and then also, uh, William, you can fix the cat bowl because the cat might need food. And what about you? You want an A plus report card, and you already have an A, so you get to lock that in. <coughs> All right. Um, I'm just gonna play with a cat. This household used to be so chaotic, and now I feel like it's kind of calm. That's not. Ni it's nice. I have to work tomorrow. Do you have to work tomorrow too? <laughs> I always get like <clears throat> a bad feeling when it's the last day of the weekend. It's like you gotta hurry up and do every all the fun stuff now. And, and there's not time to do all the fun stuff. So you get like this anxiety and the, it might end up doing nothing. It's not good. But I bought some flowers yesterday. I'm I'm tr I'm going to try to put them out on the balcony, so that we will have a nice balcony. And when I have done that, I'll try and vacuum out there, because that's what I do. And maybe put out the seating area so we can sit out there and have morning coffee. That will be nice. What is this? He wants a relative to get married. What do you get from that? That's 8,000. Well, I think... I don't think Lucy is pregnant. I can't remember. I don't think she got pregnant. So I think a relative get will get married sooner because maybe Benjamin will. Maybe we can invite Benjamin and someone that we think is a good match for him. Like, who could that be? <coughs> um, maybe, maybe we go on who John thinks is attractive. That seems weird. <coughs> like, Amara Freckles, isn't she married to? I'm not sure. Mm. This Kana person seems to be uh, getting around a lot and Gina and stuff. Maybe we like have a little party on this Sunday. No, it's Saturday in the game. Mm. I get confused. Mm. Because John is in a good mood. So he can go and throw a party. Uh, have a house party. Because what other relative is there? Oh, there is... Wait. No. I misremembered. I thought he was related to Jennifer, but he, she, he is not. <laughs> that, that is Daniel. I got... I'm confused. Oh, do we have a lot of crap in here? Yes, we do. Because they sometimes go and shop <laughs> when I play other households. Uh, here's a book, for instance, and some kind of uh, bug collection. And these are pretty cool, I think. I'm going to put that there. And we have one of these. Not, I don't think we have one from before. And then a little stack of books that I wish worked as a bookcase, but I don't think it does. And he has this little dragon. We can put that there. Alright. Uh, Ginger has 
birthday cakes like in case <laughs> in case someone needs to have a birthday i don't think we have birthdays coming up no anastasia is the next one and she is not due for another two two days or years depending on how you see it all right here we have some plants this will just increase our bills mostly but it's it's fun to have some stuff where where do i put this in the corner maybe uh, another one i i think we sell this we, we only need one <laughs> we don't need lots and lots of ants in the house there okay and do we have some aspiration awards to be had yes we do see john is a romance sim like secondary romance sim so he's gonna attract females now <laughs> apparently and seth what about you he's a knowledge sim let's have him slower needs decay what was that Social and fun. Well, he can need that because he has been having his fun meter was like so low. Okay, now it's high, so he can go. Oh my goodness, he has a lot of homework to do. Uh, yes, I lowered his grades too because of the reason. So he needs to get them back up by doing those homeworks that I generated for him. I don't like doing that, but sometimes we do have to i did install a mod that supposedly fixes that issue and also they adopted him so we shouldn't have the issue to begin with so we'll we'll see if that works <laughs> oh here comes betty broke uh, someone wants to talk to her great break betty broke <laughs> william was very excited to <laughs> To greet her. Hello. She is Angela's daughter, and she went straight for that thing. Oh, okay. Maybe Seth can talk to her when, when he's done with. He does not find her attractive. Do those homework? What are you doing? Oh, no. oh they're just sleeping away. We can't have that. We we got matchmaking to be do done. Oh, now he wants to go on a date too. He is an elder, that's why he wants grandchildren. <laughs> but I think he's he's gonna have to wait a little while because he has a lot of children, but they're very young. So he he will have to wait. But we can start working on uh, matching up. So, okay, so what we do is we invite Benjamin and then, <laughs> and then all the pretty ladies. Oh, not, not Ivy, she's in prison. Um, but Meadow can come, and Kena can come, Britain is very married, uh, but Gina can come. I don't, I don't see why we would uh, involve Jennifer in this, <laughs> like at all. So Marie, Mary Sue, <clears throat> I don't think so. I think she will stay with Don Lothario until she dies. Uh, I think she's like... She, she's got her mind on her career and everything. So I don't think she's something. Uh, well, Lucy, she's a Roman sim. And well, she, she might, you know, and also we, she's also a sibling to Benjamin. So it's not a good match. <laughs> I can't all, forgot about that. Callista Fox. All right. Uh, Marilina Sentowski. She's very married. I don't think anything's gonna happen there. Uh, same with Gabriella. Um, 
All right, let, let's let it just invite those people. Also, I just unlocked that the opposite sex to John will be starting to walk by. Uh, we have mail too. The guests are invited. And then we'll get a hope that Benjamin arrives here too, because he did. Uh, well, hug him. And the bills are here. <laughs> we can pay them when the butler is not here. I get nervous. All right, Benjamin, let, let's go inside. Influence him to kiss. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, to, to Maybe we do flirt with... With who? Uh, maybe Gina. Oh, She's yeah. pretty. Oh, yeah. oh. Mm -hmm. Go flirt with, Ke <laughs> with Gina. Will he? And he'll do it. Oh, and John, put some clothes on, please. Can't look like that. Uh, change into every day. And we'll see what happens with uh, poor Benjamin. I don't remember if he was. If he already is in a relationship or not. Can't remember. But he's gonna go ahead and flirt. Oh my goodness, he did a whole serenade and she does not like it. Well, that's too bad. I wonder if he will... Uh, <laughs> I usually don't do this. <laughs> uh, but maybe... Maybe he will talk to someone? Maybe we talk to Gina a bit. Like John finds her very, very nice looking. So we'll just have a little chat with her. Ginger is asleep and not starving to death at this moment. Good. Is someone else starving? What do you want? You want to have the Hogan Awards for athletics. Uh, get eight skill points in... Oh dear, you have some work to do. <coughs> you, you need to get eight body skill points. <coughs> well, do we have like any gym equipment at all? Well, we have this. Uh... Oh, he can play with um... ends of sentences coming soon. <laughs> we have this soccer goal. So he can play with uh, Betty. Because they they could be friends, I think. So he can work on that. Why are you so sad? She she does not like her appearance. Well, come on, Ginger, it's just until you're not pregnant anymore. What did the child is is she in need of Something? I don't know. Why is she here? Well, put her in the crib and then try and sleep again. Ignore the smelliness because we, we can... <laughs> Alright, see now he's talking to Kena. Maybe they hit it off? Maybe you should let them, you know, choose for themselves. Not. But I, I just put everyone together in, in one event so that he can, you know, choose for himself. And we can see if someone walks by too and then we can invite them too. <laughs> like, who knows? Aww. Just family kissed his father. Is it? Is it? Is this our son? Yes. <clears throat> I keep forgetting everyone. There's so many of them now. <laughs> There's so many Sims. I can't remember them. Yes, this is my son. Okay, good. Good to know. Kids are playing. Seth. Oh, right. I uh, in interrupted his homework doing because he wanted a scholarship. <laughs> But did I did I manage to clear this homework? It, it appears I cleared all the homework. 
back, maybe, or the cat ate it. Like, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Why, why did you stop? Oh, you got tired. Ah, uh, it's in the middle of the day. Why are you tired? Hiya. <laughs> I've been looking. I've been watching uh, that Asian guy doing the funny skits a bit too much. <laughs> And now we got like emotional damage. You're a failure. <laughs> I think the butlers should put food away. They don't put food away. I think that's bad. I think they should like wait. They should, they should serve food and then wait like two hours and then put it away and then not make new food until it's lunchtime and then and then the same thing and then not make new food until it's dinner time because the butler keeps like you have to have food on the t on the counter and i don't appreciate it and this butler doesn't seem to be that good at cooking <laughs> either all right, what is actually going on? Okay, we're having pillow fights apparently. Okay, okay. Well, John, maybe you should like practice speech because you need that. Oh dear. And Ginger is so tired. And we don't have any benefits to give to her. We have already given her slower need to get energy. So, you know. Her lifetime wants is to reach golden anniversary. How do you do that? Your sim wants to celebrate a golden anniversary with their chosen spouse. When this one is fulfilled, blah, blah, blah. Yes, but how you do it? Um, make sure to keep the two sims lifetime and short term relationship short scores high and watch out for the temptations of cheating. Yes, but how do I reach a golden anniversary i need to google like i need to know right now it's very important that i know right now sims 2 golden anniversary because is it just like i wait and it sort of automatically happen or do i have to like invite people for a party or something so that it triggers uh it says here, when your sim and their partners are both elders, click on the phone that shows fro anniversary party. All right, but I think I could already do that with John. I can't do it right now because we have, we're having a party. But I'm pretty sure I saw it. So, but I thought like John isn't that old yet, so maybe we should like wait until Ginger is old because otherwise it would be some sort of cheating, I think. So maybe, maybe we have the rule that even though it would be possible, I don't know if it would be possible, but even though if it would, if it was possible, we're not doing it until they're both elders. What? So, or John, or if John was about to die, we could do it. Oh, these two do not like each other. Where's Benjamin? Where is he? Benjamin, make, make good talk to women. Have you talked to everybody? I, it's so cheating, it's, it's so tempting to cheat and make him selectable, but I think I shouldn't do that. Uh, we could encourage uh, niceness. Maybe that will help him. Mm. Okay, you think John is hot, but what about Benjamin, huh? Don't you like Benjamin? Mm, can I like influence to talk to someone?
Maybe Kana. They they seem to hit it off early. What are you doing? I told you to go talk to Kana. He wanted to talk to Amara. Uh, well. All right. I don't know. We can like he will find someone. What is he even? Like. I need to check his aspiration. <laughs> Benjamin, he is uh, in university and he is a pleasure sim. Oh, that's handy. Oh, I just realized Benjamin has a <coughs> I have two Benjamins in my game. There's Benjamin Long and Benjamin Burb. <laughs> oh well. That happens. Uh, now he's... He bugged out? What happened? I don't... I, I don't know. Can I like... Um... Influence to talk. Oh, can I like maybe talk to who was it that he seemed to like Amara? But I don't, I don't know if she's married. I think she might not be actually. <laughs> well, let's see if he can like because he tried to hug her before and she didn't want that so like maybe we can oh he she does not like him that was not a good idea all right well maybe i should have invited people that john does not find it attractive because maybe then they would find benjamin attractive instead maybe well, we'll see. I have so many people in college now, by the way, so that um, they didn't fit in my house that I have for them, <laughs> which is a problem. I don't like that. So maybe I need to build a bigger student home so that we can fit them all. Because I, I don't want to play two rounds of a university. I'd rather have like a million students <laughs> to keep track of and fail them all. <laughs> I'd rather that. <coughs> Actually, have we said hello to, to Betty at all? I don't know. Wait, who was it that left? Was it... I don't know. Well, it wasn't Benjamin. Well, maybe I call over someone that I find not attractive. Oh, Ginger, what are you doing down here? If you're down here, then you should like get leftovers and not starve to death. What are you doing? Stuff face. Okay, well, you, you can do that, I guess. What did you find? <laughs> <laughs> Meadow just came in. I found this magazine. It it seems to have been outside for a long time. I'm gonna put you, put it on your counter so that you can take care of it because it's not nice to find it outside. <laughs> I don't know why she would talk like that. <laughs> well, it was a good party. Fantastic. These two really like each other. Oh, there are a hundred. Um, they're friends. Okay. Friend points hundred. Uh, that is very good. Now he wants to call Gavin. All right. Well, he's apparently friends with Gavin. So let's do that then. And she wants to be friends with Seth too. 
Really? You put all these empty dishes into the refrigerator? Why? Why would you do that? Mm. Serve some dinner then. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, I was going to invite some unattractive lady. <laughs> Uh, Jill Smith. Do we have... Georgia is married... like... Hmm... I wanna get the ones that are already played so I don't bring any more of them into play, you know. But it doesn't seem... I remember Isolde from somewhere. Maybe she was in the prison. Huh. Well, okay. Maybe I invite Jill. Smith, invite... Oh, oh well, why would she come, though? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why, why would she... Why would she say yes to that? Um, hello, I find you very unattractive. Would you like to meet my son? She said no, for some reason. I don't understand. M maybe, John, like, work on yourself. I don't know. <laughs> well, I am kind of all over the place sometimes. And I find this message kind of funny too. If my wanting to see you was on a scale of 1 to 10, I would still say no. <laughs> Uh, she wanted to call Gavin, was it? Or he wanted to call Gavin. I mixed it up, mixed them up. Okay, just talk. Because that's what you wanted to do. And now, of course, you want to play with him. So, I find it kind of annoying. They want to call them up and chat. And then immediately after, they want um, to come over. So, like, why don't you just wish for inviting them to start with. <laughs> that would be better. Uh, okay, invite household. Hello. Uh, oh, we, we gotta hurry to, to um, spend time with Amy because she has uh, problems. She, she has been fi found uh, fighting outside the apartment lots. So she will, since she is a teenager, she will go to the youth correctional facility and get straightened out. So we, we get to talk to her before that. Oop, everybody aged up. And it's, oh, it's Anastasia's birthday. So John is now 61. And Ginger is 38, Seth is 14, William is 10, and Juliet is 9, and really? Oh yeah. Uh, and Anastasia is 5 and has a birthday. So we could have a little birthday party. Like, I'm trying to get John to get a, a charisma skill point, but I, I I keep doing other stuff. So he, he is he's gonna throw a party um see he can throw an anniversary but he will not do that he will have a birthday party instead and as we saw earlier ginger has a birthday cake ready i don't know why she has that probably i bought it by mistake earlier and poor little anastasia she hasn't learned anything well, you can you can try and hurry up and potty train her and see if that works. Stop that. But probably won't work too well. Uh, yes, Jennifer Pleasant can come. Lucy, I don't think we invite these people. <laughs> but Amara, well. She didn't really get along with Benjamin, but John likes her. Uh, Corey Jitmakusa, I think he's a headmaster. But it better keep ourselves like uh, 
in good relation with him. Brian Lillard is the head of the prison, so I'll better keep on his good side too. And that's all. And Ginger is putting food on every table in the house before she can eat. That's how they do. Where are you taking that? <laughs> Let's see if this goes well. Ginger, are you gonna sit and eat that like today? Or not? Maybe not? Uh, no. Well. But doesn't he have? Doesn't Anastasia have a diaper to change? Because she's kind of dirty. She's stinky. <clears throat> hey, William, is John available to talk? Sure. But I ran out of parents. Ginger, sit down and eat that. <laughs> How hard is it? You can stop sleeping and try and like wait who does she like she doesn't really like Seth so that won't probably work so he can just give her a bath like I think that's all we can do John did you like get bugged out <laughs> Go to the phone. Oh, there's a phone there. Handy. Mm -hmm. Should have thought about that before. Before I made him go all the way downstairs to invite to party. Well, doesn't matter. Well, okay. Ginger. Did you eat? No. I will not let you do a uh, Malcolm Land grab. You sit down and eat this food. I don't care if you fall asleep in the food. You're supposed to eat it. Okay? Eat it. What is wrong with my Sims? Oh dear. Can you just eat it please? Yeah. I know. But, you know, it's kind of important that you eat and not die. And then... John, did you already talk to whoever it was that called? Yes, you did. Okay. Well, I think you just gotta, like, give up on everything and, like, let Anastasia, like, become a child. And, um, she's not gonna grow up well. Well, she's in gold, so it's okay. But, so, so at this point, it's more of a matter of, like, let her grow up before she's further down <laughs> in the aspiration meter. Bring in the station cake. There. Wait. Oh. I suddenly remembered. Like why why was John so interested in Jennifer? That's her that's his ex-wife and she's now an elder she looks horrible by the way she's working too much <laughs> but john if you have to pee then go pee please ginger is doing what she should be doing face plant into the food so that she doesn't die of hunger that is exactly what i want for her right now <laughs> I don't want her to die of hunger. I don't want anyone else to die of hunger either. But you know. Apparently Marshall is really stinky. By the way, I, I like his hair. He's so cute. He looks like a little curly Lucy, but a boy. <laughs> Here's Lucy. I think she's so cute too. I think the burb children are so beautiful. <laughs> and here's another one. It came from John. 
They probably think the most beautiful people in the Pleasant View is the Burbs and like Angela and Lilith and their descendants. They're very cute. <laughs> Oh, block. Let me see. Anastasia, what do you look like? Oh, she's cute, of course. There you go. What does she look like now? She has grown into a child. You have a normal facial expression so that I can... That will do, I think. I don't know if she is in a good light or something, but we'll have a little picture of her. Like you saw. Just ah I don't know if I should You can zoom quite a lot. That's, I like that. Flowers are kind of in the way, but I think this is a good uh, angle. There, I'm gonna redo it just, just to be sure, I don't know. There, let's save and go into our family tree and This is what she looked like as a toddler. I can make her bigger. And we are uploading a new file for her. Mm. Maybe, the, maybe the first one I took was actually better. I don't know. Ah, can't decide. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the first one. Sometimes I just take a, a picture when they are changing appearance, uh, but you get less detailed on the picture. But you get better lighting, so it, it, it's a it's a trade-off. Well, actually, I I like to look at the family tree and see like what traits are getting. Uh, passed down. You can see like Ginger has a quite a narrow mouth and you get that in the children and that's cute okay, I think wait did I invite did I invite who did I invite I don't I'm not really sure um, I thought I invited Amy but she doesn't seem to be here Maybe she didn't like us enough. <clears throat> oh, and now Anastasia is hungry too. She grew up into this uh, sporty thing. Oh, she wants to... She can have a friend instead. Let's see. She is very active and that's probably why she has those cl clothes on. Alright. Oh, hello. Charheel Doom Guy. Is that how you say it? <laughs> hello. Welcome to the stream. We are having a snoozer of a party. Oh, did you pee your pants? That's not good. The first thing she did after she aged up into a child. <laughs> Uh, it was pure pants. That's not so good. Ginger, what what on earth are you doing? What what is what is that? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, someone is already in there. Go have a little pee. 
And then I suppose you can sleep. What is happening? It's so hard with pregnant Sims. So I'm just gonna send her to bed before she like dies or something. That's not good. Oh my goodness. Why is everyone stinky all of a sudden? Oh, and he want now he wants to have a baby. Well, we know that is going to happen. Um, soon. So I'm gonna lock that in instead of the other ones. He, he can like, re-roll those. They're important to him. Which they probably are. <laughs> Oh, he's having a nice chat with... Like, uh, Marshall is actually his son, but he got, like, taken away because someone got bad grades uh, over at, at Jennifer's place where they were staying because she, she didn't, like, focus on the kids at all. So they got taken away, and he is now living with Krista Sue, that is um, an elder, towny, so I don't know what to do with her. He is about to go off to college, but I, I'll, I'll try and figure it out. <laughs> I might just let her live in that house and not do anything with her. Maybe put her in the retirement home. Not sure. But I like the, the thought of houses having a sim in them, so that if you get with that sim and move in with them, you can move in with them and like live in that house for free. But it's not like The Sims 4, so yeah. She, she might as well just move out and take the money with her, you know? Okay. Uh, well, the party is a good time. Ginger is about to die. I'm not <laughs> Hope she doesn't. Um, I don't know if it's worth it to take her downstairs when she's this tired to eat. I just don't know. Well, maybe, Seth, you could like put this away as leftovers for Ginger so that she can have it later. Or, you know, Anastasia, maybe you do it. Um, okay, well, that, that didn't go well. Try and put everything away. Why is it? Oh, they went bad. Okay. I do feel that happens a little bit too fast. Not sure if there's some kind of glitching going on. The bot is reminding me to save the game. I probably did at six o'clock, but you know, why not save again? Yeah, you put those away. We don't want any flu happening. Who peed on the floor? Probably lots of people. All right. Uh, oh, it's quite late, isn't it? Yeah, you should, you should go to bed, little child. Sleep. Oh, we need a bed. Oh dear. Where am I going to put a bed for Anastasia? There's no room. And Seth isn't going to go to college anytime soon. So, so like, should we convert this room to a uh, bedroom? We'll need to move the TV out of it then. Uh, this is quite annoying. Who has money? <laughs> um, bank online, withdraw. Oh, he does not have any money. Does Ginger have money? But I don't want to put get her out. She has 3,000. So what we could do is we could borrow 3,000. Just or like two and a half thousand just so that I don't have to get her out of bed and then 
I could because I want to I want to extend this room it's it's annoying it's too small I, I can't fit everything in it so let's try and I think I have move up it's on so I can just move people out of the way you know what you could like why don't you have this upstairs here because it, it will look nice and then you can still use it oh did i move the people too well that's <laughs> that's good um yes so if if i put the dining table over there then we could have like the sofa over here and we could have the tv over here we could actually sell this sofa we don't need it can have that there and the bookcase can go there wait do I actually have to extend the house to be able to fit all this maybe I'm just rearranging stuff I think I need to extend it a little bit because yeah this doesn't really work so Okay, you, you, you'll go be AFK, that's fine. Uh, you can have it in the background, you know. I'll, I'll keep talking. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so, I'll just put these windows over so we don't lose them. In The Sims 2, you get a shake when you, whenever you're demolishing a wall. I'm not sure if, if I actually gain more money if I remove the wallpaper beforehand or not. Probably not, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And we gotta remove this wall here. See now, yeah, this is nice. And if I bring up a little sheet, sheet uh, over here, we have said quarter tiles on then I can move the sofa a little bit just a little bit you know gonna press ctrl F and it didn't work now it works okay so it could be up there that's very nice There, and then we just put this awful wallpaper back. Should we keep having that wallpaper? I don't like it. Maybe we do another one. Ginger likes red, so maybe we have... What is this? This is nice, isn't it? Looks a little bit more homey than that awful shade of wallpaper that we had I like this okay should we change the floor too nah I'll let it be okay I think oh but we gotta do the outside oh. in the outside or in the sims 2 when you press shift you just fill the, the space that you have, not the room, and I, I do prefer it like that. Is this an unpainted wall? I don't think so. No. That looked a bit weird though. Okay, what does the house look like now? See? It just got a little bit bigger. This house is so weird, but <laughs> I just keep adding to it. Now, what I was actually doing was I was I was making a um, a bedroom, and mm, we want to move the computers out actually, because because they will keep people awake. So they could be next to the TV. That's fine, right? I think. Oops. I gotta turn this thing off. 
there. So there, and now we can have a nice little bed in here. For Anastasia. I don't think that one. She's like a sporty little girl. We want a pretty nice bed, but do we want to spend all our money on it? Maybe we do. Maybe she's the little, you know, <laughs> the little girl that we spend all the money on. I don't like the bedding. Maybe this one, though. I think this looks a bit better. Um... Maybe blue. But then it doesn't match the rest of the room. Uh, does this come in blue? No. We can use this awful chicken one. I don't think so. Oh dear. No. Hard to find the right wallpaper. Maybe this one though. I kind of like it's it's one of those wallpapers that I like because I dislike them in the right way. Not sure that makes any sort of sense, but there you go. I uh, need a more muted. Uh, you know what? Maybe this is exactly what I need. It is not. It needs to be more gray. That floor, maybe. No. That's better. Nice muted dark blue floor. Very nice. And then maybe we don't have all the desks put like that. It looks very... Um, it looks very bad. <laughs> What is going on with this chair? Is it supposed to be over there? Maybe it is. Who's, whose place is this? Oh. Wait. Doesn't she sleep up here? Shouldn't she have a place to do her homework up here? There's no room for that. Then I gotta extend that room too. And I, I can't... I can't with that right now, <laughs> so we will not do that. But I will put something on this on this wall because it looks so bare. Mm, I just need a little wall hanging of some kind. Do we put like? Mm, no. What are these called? They're double hockey sticks. <laughs> Double hockey sticks. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny, isn't it? We could put that here. That that looks nice. And then a little rocket length thingy. Oops. What is this? Just want to put some nice things out. You know, I don't, I don't know if you want to have a tire on your wall exactly. <laughs> Maybe a nice traffic sign. That's nice. Like a so that that works right. <laughs> well, it's not supposed to be like um, a good like home decorating exercise. This it's supposed to be like a kid's bedroom where you like put stuff in and you just you know maybe we have a little light over here in the corner. I gotta stop soon because my money will run out. So maybe. Maybe with a red one. That's nice. 
It's awful and that's why I like it. <laughs> okay, let's save. And now we can send her to bed. There. Now everyone has a bed. <laughs> well, uh, unless Ginger has twins, we could sell one of these too. But I will. I want to wait and see if that is something that happens. I don't think it's going to be twins. Why would it be twins? Such, such a small chance. Well, she's very hungry. Mm. But you know, it's just orange. It's not red yet. So she will probably live. Uh, the stress. Is everyone sleeping now? Who's up? Seth is up. Playing the games. Alright, well, Seth, if you're gonna do that, then could you, like, go jogging instead? Because you want that scholarship, don't you? Uh, just go by yourself. Oh, you could bring the cat. That would be fun. But you didn't, so... It's not my concern. Okay. Uh, turn the TV off before you go to bed. Oh, yeah, I know. Peeing your pants in a party, that's rough. <laughs> Not good. Not so fun. Yeah, she's, she's still cute. I just had to check. Maybe I keep an eye on Ginger and just fast forward. The hunger bar doesn't go down while she's sleeping so fast. <gasps> no! Seth is sick with po food poisoning. What did you eat? Why did you eat this? Oh no, Ginger, why did you put food up here? That's not good. Well, um... How do I shoe this cat? Shoe pet. There you go. And then sleep and hope that... Like, it was... Renato, Renato. It's grandma's chicken soup. It's supposed to make you healthy, not not make you sick. Well, John, save any other children from uh, getting food poisoning when you wake up. It's fine. Oh no! Now I gotta keep an eye on Seth too, because he got. Well, I hope. Well, it, mm, since it's food poisoning, then maybe it's not contagious. I am not sure. I think Ginger just had a night nightmare. What are you dreaming about, Ginger? What is going on with you? Oh, she's like maybe she's scared that she'll have the baby soon. <gasps> she is scared to have a baby, but she also wants to have a baby. So, well, we'll see. How that feels for her. Um, are there leftovers for her to have? I th I think I, I tried to put leftovers in there, but I didn't succeed. John, maybe you can serve breakfast for your pregnant wife so she doesn't die. You know, make toast or pastry. That that's like that that's probably good. There, and then Ginger can come down here and eat it. There's something wrong yeah. with... Um, yeah, there's... I put a plant there. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't like it there? Oh, well. It's too bad, really. Something is wrong with this chair. Well, yeah, I put everything 
wrong. Uh, Control F. What? What is going on now? I don't know. It should be here, I think. And this should be there. What? No. These chairs are all wrong. I'll just put them here and play the game and they can go out. And now, maybe if I put them back... What is wrong with it? Uh... <laughs> you know, yeah, these chairs... Maybe I need new ones because these are defective. Maybe if someone uses them, maybe then it, it will be fine. Oh, there's a fridge up here too. Okay, she was stuffing her face. But John made you breakfast. Go down and eat it. It's gonna be fine. There. Ah, Crisis averted again. Oh, that's good. John, don't don't do that. You know when you put food up here, no one is gonna eat it, and then it's gonna go bad. Well, will they make that at least? Okay. John has the day off today. Okay. You know what, Ginger, you need to sort the finances out also. Uh, and so withdraw like all your money and then we can see if we get anything left after you repay that loan. Oh, this is this is wrong. The interest rate should be five. I don't think that matters yet. Maybe. Well, it was an honest mistake. <laughs> so. Ah, oh, the baby should be here soon, I hope. Let's see if we get a little... Odin or Otello? That's a word. <laughs> That's a game I really liked to play when I was little. We didn't make that game. Oh, see, now I, I, I started some kind of project again. <laughs> In my head. I start projects all the time and then I don't finish them. Oh, well. It's fine. Oh, the food up here actually did get eaten. All right, okay, that's good. Uh, Seth, you can also bring it, grab a plate. That would be nice. And I'll just fix the, fix the loan. Wait, I gotta save. If the if the game would have crashed now, I would have been so upset because I hate building. <laughs> so if I had built. And don't save, that's bad. There, now she doesn't have any money, but we could do payback the entire loan. And then she could like, mm, that's fine, she can have it like that. And then she can pay all bills. But then I think she should get more food. And then I think she should have a nice bath if she, if there's time. Okay, well maybe you have a shower. Okay, you take care of yourself, Ginger. It's 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 fine. Now John only wants to have a baby, and he wants to go on a date. Well, I think Ginger is kind of busy. Luckily, he hasn't gotten any of the um, wants to like kiss multiple people and stuff, so that's nice. But the baby is now coming. Baby time! Uh, I gotta have a good screenshot of <laughs> Ginger in pain and John like 
Yeah, uh, I've been through this before. You just gotta breathe through it, honey, and then like everything's gonna be fine. It's it's cool. <laughs> uh, the nanny got bugged out. I don't. I'm not sure why everything is happening yet. Oh dear. Okay, delete the nanny then. We don't have a nanny, do we? Wait. No, we don't. Like, John, I think John hired a nanny to come when he is not here, but he has the day off, so that's really buggy. I don't understand what is going on. See, this is why we want a remake of The Sims 2. Like, the game structure is very nice, but there's a lot of, like, unhandled situations that can happen. And if you play a long time, they're gonna keep happening. Uh, but luckily I have a mod that just throws up th this dialogue box and I can show you what to do instead of the game crashing. There's one new family member on the way, so we are going to have a little Susan or Odin, I think we said. So who's it gonna be? Ah! You gotta have a fridge! <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it's a girl, so... It was Susan, wasn't it? That I said I was going to name the baby. Susan, yes, after... John's grandmother. Yes. We have a little Susan Newburb. And we're gonna save. Ah, and then we gotta add Susan to our other thingies. So Ginger, that's a really awful picture of her, by the way. <laughs> anyway, no, 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 not like that. Add child with John. Susan and she's female and she's alive there and we gotta have a little picture like all the babies have the same facial structure but you know we can see that she has brown hair and brown eyes there save Susan Newburb Baby Why do I keep accidentally starting putty? That's not good. So we can add a photo for Susan There she is. That's also a awful picture, but not gonna be there for too long so then we gotta like it's sa Sunday actually so we gotta change that so it's Sunday for everyone and I'm just gonna add her down here. Actually, we can just do this. Uh, clear, new verb. Oh, and then also we can have blanks there. So now we don't have to look at everything. There, Susan, new verb. Oh, right, we gotta do the token thing. We gotta double check though. So that there has been nothing mischievous going on. So this is Susan and her parents are Ginger and John. Get and double check the father because sometimes it's, it's not what you think. But this time, nothing weird. <laughs> nothing weird happening. So this is a recorded household. But so we're gonna 
inherit from John that is a townie and Ginger that is unplayed. So Ginger is going to lose a level and become a townie and Susan is going to become unplayed. And she is zero years old and she is a baby and she's a baby in the correct way and we don't know her sign but glasses we do we take John has 66 and Ginger 76 so we just go here and then we do 66 minus 10 is 56 and then 76 plus 10 is 86 and then we just generate and we get 83 so she's not gonna have glasses for a long time <laughs> And then we just copy this part here. And yeah, we need this bit too because we gotta put her as alive. <laughs> I keep these two columns, I'm not sure about if I should keep those. And then we can just hide these again. There. Now she's in the system. Fantastic. New little baby. Okay, so since she, it was just one baby, I'm gonna have to sell that bit because it, monies. And then I think I should end the stream because it's almost 10 o'clock and I have a lot of flowers to plant today and I'm gonna uh, clean or something. <laughs> oh hi you're back, I'm, I was just saying I'm gonna end the stream. But <laughs> I hope you have a super duper time. Stay tuned for a raid and take care. Bye!